Good evening, everyone. I'm Inspector Belmont of the Department of Undead Misunderstands and Problems, or DUMP, for short. I've been called here today because a human has been murdered here at your vampire ball. I cannot express to you enough the seriousness of this offense, and I intend to get to the bottom of it. The human, mortal girl known as Lilith de Wolfram, was a known associate of Count Dragula, New York's resident vampire queen and host of this vampire ball. Miss Wolfram and the Count were close and managed this establishment, the Fang and Rose Club, exclusively for creatures of your persuasion. Now, I'm sure you all want to avoid a scandal, and so I would ask your cooperation and discretion in this matter while we investigate the case. There is no doubt about the fact that this was a premeditated murder. Now, this may very well have been staged to look like a vamp kill, so don't think those of you who are still of the human, mortal persuasion are off the hook. Just because you may not be a blood drinker, I will investigate thoroughly. In the meantime, if you have any secrets or have heard anything that might help the case, I suggest you come clean about it now. You should take this time to introduce yourselves officially to one another as you will need to cooperate in order to help solve this quickly, efficiently, and above all, quietly. You people with your scandals and your corruption, it's no wonder a dump was needed. After further investigation, I can tell you that Miss Wolfram was shot through the head, and this is what essentially killed her. But she had also previously been bitten and drained of much of her blood. Now, from what I understand, Dragula based much of their look on their treasured companion. Therefore, I cannot help but wonder if Lilith was the intended target or whether perhaps it was Dragula herself. Perhaps these clues will help shine a light on this darkness. Item 1. A coded letter that reads, Uoikut guverithain mrofem won harku sa ai ekt guverithain morfoi dienai hatka uinur. Item 2. A small golden key which was located under the dressing room. It should open a cabinet somewhere in the building. Why don't you discuss the evidence before you and see if you can come up with an explanation or two? I'll look forward to hearing your thoughts. Well, I hope you found that informative. It answers a few questions, but not all of them. As I was scouting the area, I found the murder weapon. Item three, a hunter's pistol. It was locked in the cabinet at the far side of the room. A little golden key opened it up. Hunter's pistols shoot silver bullets with wooden cores. It is a weapon specifically designed to kill vampires. So. Maybe Lilith wasn't the intended target after all. It points the blame at the hunters present, that's for sure. But that could all be a clever ruse. If I was a vampire wanting to frame a hunter for murder, I'd certainly want to use a hunter's pistol. Vampires are irrational creatures and more likely to overreact and accept the obvious. Why don't you discuss it and see if you can identify who the target may have been. Are you getting any closer to solving the crime? The final piece of evidence explains to us how a murderer knew where everyone would be, at what time. Item 4. The schedule for the night. Our murderer knew exactly when Dragula would be away from the companion, and guests would be in the lounge area. 9pm Arrival 9.30pm Meet and greet in the main hall 10pm 
guests adjourn to the lounge for cocktails. 10.30 p.m. Count Dragula performance. 11.30 p.m. Dinner is served. 1.30 a.m. Count Dragula performance. 2.30 a.m. Live snacks work around the room. Dancing commences. 5.30 a.m. Guests retire to their coffins for the day. We are close to solving this crime, and so I suggest we start wrapping up now. So any final questions, now is the time to ask them. Do you know who the murderer is? Then vote. You need to identify who done it and their motive. The first correct answer submitted will be the winner.